there, you're here with Lucinda at Homesteading at Blue Sky Ranch. This month, I'm embracing World Carnivore Month and Dry January. So this month, we're going to be embracing, you guessed it, World Carnivore Month and Dry January. So no more wine, no more vegetables. You might be asking me why I'm doing this. It's not really because I'm overweight, I'm at a normal weight, but over the last few months, I have been suffering from the very worst back pain for about, about four months now. I've had horrible back issues. And I've also was diagnosed with osteoarthritis in my hand. So I am going to go on an anti-inflammation diet for the month of January. So we're gonna be eating a lot of meat. Oh, and look who is joining us now. Hello, YouTubers. It's Tom. Hello, everybody. And, and he... I am going to be doing this for uh, diet purposes because I've had a pretty darn good winter. <laughs> so for the rest of you who want to follow us along on our journey, this is what we're going to be eating. Lots of beef. This is our beef. Grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Because we have it. Because we have it. We'll be also eating eggs and butter. So today we've got soup bones. Are these incredible? They don't look like soup bones to me. If they were a little smaller, they would be the Oso Buco. These are leg shank. Then over here in the crock pot, I have a small pork loin. And I do like to shred that up and put that in with my meat, my beef, kind of as a different texture and taste. And over here we have short ribs. <laughs> yep, and our third thing we're gonna cook today is short ribs. And they're gonna go in the crock pot with the, uh, the beef shank. Yep, we're gonna lay those on top. So That's any, an experiment. All an experiment, but of course this is carnivore and you just keep it simple. So Tom wanted to show you that he's got his hardcore carnivore hat on. He is getting prepared. So we're not just starting this for the first time. This is our third time in the month of January <laughs> to do the carnivore challenge. So World Carnivore Challenge is the month of January and it's also dry January. So Two challenges in one month. Here we go. <laughs> so two farmers here who love gardening are just going to eat meat. Yes, it's going to be great. But 100% meat, eggs, and a little bit of dairy. Yes, but I, I, I do love meat. We do love meat. So why do this diet? Why do it? Well, like I said to you, I have a lot of food allergies. So this is the best way to do a food elim elimination diet. I had to go through this process many times as a kid where they'd remove wheat, they remove eggs, uh, remove gluten, whatever, they remove something out of your diet and then you bring it back in to see if you have an allergy to it, an intolerance. So for me, with this lower back pain and pain in my hands, that they diagnosed with osteoarthritis, I am going to be trying to have an anti-inflammatory diet for this whole month and see how I feel. And the reason I'm doing it is to um, hopefully uh, feel better, uh, have more energy, and ultimately I would like to lose, uh, you know, some weight uh, to maybe help me with my, uh, my knee problems and so I can uh, walk further. Yeah, and with him too, he has been diagnosed with the metabolic disorder. And so this diet really helps put you back on track, helps to clean out your system. It helps to detoxify your liver, which is a big, huge thing that processes all of the cholesterol and the fats and the sugars, and ultimately to just get totally off sugar. And, and uh, we're, we're not registered doctors or dietitians. No, we, this is our, this is this our, is our personal, own experience. Yeah, our personal journey, our own testimony of yeah. what we try, what works. Not everything always works every time we try it. But, you know, this is a really great way to reset your mind more than anything over the holiday eating. And, uh, you know, we all let ourselves go a little bit during the holidays. You know, there's Christmas cookies, there's cake, there's <laughs> extra toast of champagne or drinking. And so this is a great way to get back on track. So if you do want to follow us along on our journey, there's some great resources out there that we've followed over the years. Um, we really enjoy Dr. Sean Baker, and he has locally 
uh, transplanted himself here in Washington State. He did live in California, but he's a great resource. He's 56 year old uh, guy who's been on carnivore and he's in excellent shape and he's a doctor. So great one if you're looking for some resources uh, about this diet is him. Also, Dr. Ken Berry, another great resource. Him and his wife do this and Dr. Chafee, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's been doing this diet for 20 years. So these are medical doctors who have lots and lots of information. They have books. Yeah, yeah, doc, yeah doc, doc, Dr. Chafee, Chaffee. He's, uh, he, he's uh, in Australia right now, but he's a, a neuro uh, surgeon. So he's, yep. uh, he, he's, he's up there with credentials and, and this is his way yep, of eating. And he claims he eats one to two pounds of meat a day. So, well, yeah, 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 yeah. One, one, yeah, two pounds when he's a sedentary and he says up to four pounds if he's working out and pushing it. Yeah. So anyway, watch those guys. If you're at all interested in this diet, don't go off what we're saying or what no. we're doing, but <laughs> look at them. And then for the uh, dry January, I really love this gal. I've been listening to her podcast is Angela Masaic and she is phenomenal. And if you're looking for some inspiration to not drink for a month, I highly recommend you look her up. I think she's on Spotify and she does YouTubes and I've done one of her workshops. She is fantastic and she's not over the top preaching at you. She's just really, really down to heart and down to earth and, and I enjoy her. So anyway, yeah, well, yeah, we're going so uh, yeah, to do this. So this I, is day two. Yeah, day, yeah, day two. <laughs> Yesterday was... Uh... Day. A little rough, uh, you yesterday know. Yesterday we just we weren't focused <laughs> on talking with anyone yet. We were trying to prepare the kitchen, prepare the house, prepare the mind, prepare the mind, and and that's really where it all starts is your mind. But it also starts in your fridge and in your cupboards. And lucky for us as farmers, we have two full freezers of meat. beef, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we are not hurting for meat. We do not need to go to the store. We have pounds and pounds of butter. We have all kinds of pounds of cream also in the freezer. We have some cheese. We're going to kind of try to stay away from any cheeses. We are, we are dirty carnivore. That's what they say. So we, if you're going to go pure carnivore, it is meat, salt, and water. And so we are a dirty carnivore where we use some seasoning, some spices, um, and uh, a little, mustard. and a little bit of dairy and, and a little yeah. mustard. Yeah, so we, we just, are just dirty carnivores. Yeah. We stay away from sugar. We stay away from no full sugar, sugar, no uh, sugar, ketchup, uh, yeah. any, anything that has actual Condiments or a no, no. So if you, uh, if you're going to do this, try to stay, steer away from the condiments. Like I said, we're going to use some spices, um, because neither one of us seem to have an intolerance to spices oh. and a little bit of um, mustard, but you know, pretty clean. So. Yes. Well, my, my, my downfall, uh, in my last uh, few attempts has been, I think I probably eat way too much cheese. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say that uh, this time cheese will be a, a small part of this. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a condiment kind of yeah, thing. Instead treat, of a food yeah. Group. Treat cheese as a condiment, maybe yeah. a little sprinkle on a burger, but yeah, right yeah. now we're going to try to stay cheese free for the first few days. Yeah. See how it goes. Um, I need to eat a little more fat than he does to make my mind healthy. So I put a little bit of butter in my coffee. So I do, do, do that in the morning and once in the afternoon it gives me a little more spike of energy and i have a better feeling in my mind of that i'm happy <laughs> and i don't yeah. get all crazy and depressed that i'm frenzied over i'm not having any food but anyway join us along we're going to report back to you maybe once a week yeah, we'll see how, maybe we'll see, more yeah, but yeah more. You can, you can let us know this. so let us know what you you want to hear from us as a couple of farmers doing carnivore eating meat out of our yeah, freezer yeah. and it's a great time of year because we don't have a garden you know so we don't have fresh vegetables we have nothing fresh. The only thing that we have right now are potatoes and squash, basically, and onions. We have a lot of canned stuff. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of preserved food, but we don't need to eat that right now. We're so we don't, we don't have things that are going to spoil right now. So this is a great time to do this because the garden isn't going. We can stay focused and just eat the meat out of the freezer and um, yeah, wish yeah, us luck. Yes, yeah, to, and to our family and friends, this is uh, no bread. Yeah, and no and cookies, no, no bread, no cakes. No <laughs> so when I ask for just a hamburger, that's all that's I want, just right? the burger. And we have very supportive family when we've done this in the past. They kind of look at us crazy, but you know, this works for us. It may not work for you. 
but it works for us. Yes. I, and let's hope that this time um, will even be the best ever because you guys are going to keep us on track. So we're going to be accountable to you. So watch us along and we will be reporting in. And if you want to join us, yes, you, you know, can. you can comment below. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. We're out there. So you can uh, send us an email if you want to, you know, get a little more correspondence going back and forth. Yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.